Hi guys, welcome back to the Transformers review. And this time will be the Transformers Game Edition War for Cybertron Optimus Prime. Alright, and I, right here as you see him over here. Uh, nice uh, Optimus Prime uh, box art right here. It's 03, the Game Edition, the symbol right there. Alright, this is the Studio Series. Gamer, Gamer Edition Optimus Prime Alright, this has been actually 13 years 10 or 13 years uh, Since the last War for Cybertron uh, Release from Hasbro Alright And here's a closer look At the box art Alright, this is Transformers War for Cybertron Optimus Prime in the packaging all right he has no plastic uh window right now he's just uh, to save cost all right here's a nice box art of optimus prime all right game okay, edition this is plastic free packaging right here and here's the sides of the packaging you see the uh optimus prime uh figure okay so it's uh basically a uh, nice uh, representation and instead of the Autobot logo or the faction symbol you have a gamer edition or the gamepad uh, symbol instead right here's a closer look all right and here is a look at the back they call it the big screen uh, inspired uh, pack all right so you do see uh, Prime, Optimus Prime in uh, his uh, robot to, to vehicle. All right, the process has 22 steps, and they had uh, the studio series has a background uh, that comes with it that will actually uh, enhance the figure. And here's the other part of this. Uh, this is the let you think you know this is a studio series that you know this is a uh, basically high quality. Uh, made Optimus Prime, so it's basically a war, a uh, gamer edition, basically war for WFC uh, accurate edition of representation of Optimus Prime. And here's the obligatory product details, right? The Transformers War for Cybertron logo. Okay, and let's get him out of the box so that we can have a closer look at him in regards to is uh, robot mode all right and right now I'll let you have a look at Optus Prime out of the packaging okay just take this move over here take this out right and this is how Optus Prime looks like in packaging right here With the Evolve for Cybertron art at the back. This is how it looks like. Alright, this is the place. This is the art at the back, right here. Studio Series Zero. This is basically the background where you can let him pose. Alright. Okay, he also comes with the uh, instructions on how to transform it. Here's a closer look uh, for you to have the... Uh, the instructions are quite detailed basically. Okay, this is how, how it looks like. Also, from the back. and here's a closer look at the background of uh, the figure where, where it is held in packaging so it's actually graphic so it's quite nice if you look at the uh, graphics beside it okay and let you see the so at the background in more detail I do see uh, at the back here 
Your side will show in uh, look of it. Well, it's quite detailed and very menacing. I think probably this is the uh, Decepticon base. You do see there's, I think this could be the uh, probably Decepticon hideout at the back there. Right, let's get Prime open up and I'll get back to uh, reviewing his robot mode. Alright guys, and here is Optimus Prime out of the packaging. Alright, this seems this look uh this Opt Optimus Prime looks like his uh uh seems uh, looks it is the most hefty Optimus Prime uh among uh all most of most releases, recent releases. Alright, then now well, this is a Voyager class. The last War for Cybertron War for Cybertron uh, Optimus Prime was released in the Deluxe class. Okay, however, I do not have uh, that figure anymore to show you the comparison. All right, however, uh, it's actually uh, uh, more shorter than uh, this uh, Voyager Optimus Prime uh, because of the uh, class, uh, the uh, class classification of the. Uh, figure all right and right here you have a closer look at prime's head all right so this is the actual uh, gamer edition accurate uh, face count from Optim for Optimus Prime all right you do see his face is quite very accurate nice all right uh, it's a shame that uh, the couldn't add any more uh, basically paint details on him all right on his uh, all right on his other parts of the detail for his face right here I'm going to have you have a look at his uh, close look at his face by the sides it should could actually add some color here on the sides as well but he's definitely game accurate you can look at the scale of things it's basically uh, gorgeous. So you can say can rotate a full 360 this way. All right. So you do see his back of the head. All right. I'm just gonna zoom out, and uh, you, you do see that this. Uh, I like the uh, chest piece. All right, that he's having. Okay. So uh, quite actually uh, very accurate, especially his Autobot logos and his shoulders are quite uh, quite nicely done. Right for his torso. Okay, uh, sorry for his mid middle part mid span of his uh, torso or his uh, waist. We do have details like Cybertron in solar panels here. Okay, mechanical parts so it's quite uh, I wouldn't say that the uh, colors are too good however the sculpting of this World for Cybertron Gamer Edition release from the studio series is quite spectacular it captures all the details for from the, the game all right so we do see right here his mid span his uh, his stomach portion his uh, here is his left thigh and a uh, left and right thigh. So you do see that uh, there's also a solar panel. Uh, what do you call the uh, details there? And he, on his uh, left upper, that's right, mid span of his leg. Uh, sorry, uh, the uh, upper part of his leg. You do see mechanical parts right here. Right, this is quite detailed. On the sides, let me remove his hands a bit further. However, if you do turn right here, it is a bit hollow. It would have been nice if they could have filled this part in right here, all the way. All right, and as for the legs right here, you do see some details. Ah, uh, they're quite accurate. Okay, especially the wheels. 
There's also the smokestacks. However, when you turn him around, right, uh, I have a actually a large complaint because if you do know, if you compare this to the other figures, usually uh, during a Voyager class figure, you'll have some intricate circuits that are shown here. Basically, this is just plain plastic or unfinished. So uh, that's actually taking more points from this figure, All right? And here are the feet, which are quite uh, nice. Okay, nicely done. And here's the back of the figure. All right. So that's how it's designed. You can see here, right? The wheels are made of plastic. However, they put in a lot of effort in the paint. Okay, and the wheels, alright, and here's the back of Optimus Prime, alright, uh, I would say he doesn't have much cable at the back, let me zoom out, alright, here I think it's well proportioned, okay, and usually, I think they miss one important part for the all force of the Optimus Prime, yeah, basically there should be a uh, Autobot logo up here from the back, Alright, and if you do see, uh, compared to the uh, the original deluxe release of the World War Cyber Drop the Burst Prime, uh, this is actually much more compact, than, uh, this is basically much larger now. Alright, and for his articulation, right, as we did discuss, his head can rotate the full 360, right, his hands can also rotate a full, 360, a full 360 here also you can rotate or swivel at the uh, mid span of the arm and rotate also on the elbow and also rotate the wrist right here all right full 360 however the wrist is actually non-articulated it's actually a fixed uh, fixed uh, up uh, punching stands a uh, hand right and to for the extra features that he has he has also the matrix or leadership which you can open his chest right here all right uh, let's focus in on his chest piece and the matrix or leadership right if you look at the uh, his chest piece where the matrix of leadership is stored basically you do see some very very uh, nice sculpting or details uh, right here the, uh, grayish color on the sides you can see the circuitries which are holding the uh, matrix of leadership right. however there are actually no uh, colors to highlight uh, the cables or the sides or the main for the matrix right the matrix is the traditional matrix uh, still in a sense that it has this blue and it's also colored in gold uh, basically the holders that holds the uh, matrix in place all right this matrix of leadership can be removed just like that all right and when you remove it you do see there's a uh, circle or turbo, uh, circle inside here okay and this is the matrix of leadership all right so uh, which also can be held. It's not a full uh, matrix, but it can be held by Optimus Prime, not on his wrist. But if you do move uh, his hands here, you can put his matrix or leadership, leadership on his wrist, on his hands, at the sides right here. All right, so what you can do now is put it back, just like that, and close it up left and right all right and for his uh, shoulders you can uh, due to his uh, transformation move this out okay move his hands this way and when he holds his axe into a better uh, better uh, pose I'll show you later what I mean what I mean all right he also has a uh, waist articulation right here okay. as you see this uh, 
Mobile Force Cybertron Voyager class uh, Studio Series Optimus Prime uh, is quite large when his hands are extended all the way. It's very nicely done. Alright, so for his feet, you can uh, kick back and forth. Okay, just like this. Alright, you can also swivel at the upper part of the leg, just like that. There's also bent at the elbow, sorry, at the knee. It also kicks past way 90 degrees, way up this way, and also way uh, only at the front. Alright, and his uh, feet just rock back and forth slightly. Also bends up and down, just like that. Alright guys, Optimus Prime does come with this uh, hand plasma cannon. Alright, so it's quite nice, it's quite accurate uh, to the uh, War for Cybertron uh, series. Alright, you do see the uh, weapons molded in just black plastic, no details on it. Uh, sorry, no paint details on it. And right here, you do see, uh, it's quite, it's not, uh, it's quite hollow for certain parts. However, this is quite game accurate. Alright, for the, yes, it comes with his axe as well. Alright, the War for Cybertron axe. Okay, where you put this in. Alright, so this is the axe which uh, is, appears in the game, however did not appear in the toy version for the previous release. Alright, if you look uh, at this right here, you can open this up right here and stick it up there, the packet in there, right here and this will reveal the War for Cybertron axe that uh, we are accustomed to. However, the sides of the uh, Energon uh, energy is coming out right here. This one is not actually it should be orange. All right, this is slightly uh, yellowish or a bit of orange on it, but you do see the details. But however, it's not bright enough, like the game edit, uh, like the like you see in the in the game. So uh, it's actually that's part that is I would say missing however uh, this is nicely done the scalp is quite accurate right now let's try to see how he fits we fit his, his weapons in all right so just let me zoom in on his hand okay take this out this way and just come over here and put this, pack this in. All right. Fit in just like this. Just pack this in to the pack hole here. All right. Okay, and then you see his uh, Optimus Prime holding his weapon, just like that. All right, so yeah, yeah this here's the side view. All right, and as for the here's the view of it, and let's do it for his axe right now. Let's focus in on his other hand right there. All right, so here's the axe. Take it apart. From the top, slide this in just like that. Let him hold his X here and let's slot this beneath this way. Alright, guys, let's pull in the uh, Alright, just come here, right like this, 
lift this apart, put this in, swivel it slowly, all right, just like that, and combine this up together. And yep, you now have Optimus Prime holding the weapon just like that. All right, so get the him holding the weapon uh, side by uh, on the sides. Okay, let's him get him to a uh, nice pose. Just move this left shoulder, uh, right shoulder out, and left shoulder out. All right, you do see that uh, Prime is bigger right now, Optimus Prime and get him to holding this weapon in a much uh, desired position and here is the uh, position that you can actually get Prime into let me show you the other position that he can achieve with this uh, added uh, functionality alright and here is the other pose that you can get him up to holding the weapon higher more uh, like, like what he did in the movie sorry in the game next so now we get into his transformation from robot to vehicle move this out the shoulders okay rotate the figure at the back Move this out, rotate this, this way, just like that. Next, what you need to do is rotate this part up, this way, just like that. Fold this up and around. Move the head inward, just like that. move this forward to cover this okay this was that in place for four points two in front and two at the back okay just rotate this this way and let's pack it in so here this will pack into the front part and this will pack into the uh, back part all right so just it's packing properly all right so you've completed this part of the transformation doing this move this and uh, this way all right come to the front pack the legs in just like this Rotate it this way. All right. So there is a line to be transformed to vehicle mode. Just like that. After that, move this up this way. Bring this down and about. Move the hands out this way. Same goes for the other hand. After doing that, lining everything, bring the hands this way, in and out, to the back, and pack them in this way. All right. So, this is done. So what we can proceed to now is to bring this down, not down, unpack this right here for both sides, this way, In that, take the wheels, fold them out, pack in, let it left and right, come to this part of the front, bring this up and around, just like that, fold the feet in, 
All right, just like that. And let's turn this about and around. And this two packs on the hands will pack in to the top left and right, right here. This two. You can bring this down right now. this in just like that on both sides pack this in properly just like that come to the front bring this down all the way and align it to the front like that and basically pack this two packs right here, the pack holes left and right, right there okay, you, do, you did hear the sound that it's been packed in properly when this is done, you'll just see the ugliness sweat which most people are talking about alright, for the hands at the back, so they should have actually made something to cover this up right this does not pack and basically it's just laying aligning properly that's all and let's bring this part here raise uh, move this up and around up and around so again okay, this will pack in here to this part to secure it and also this part to here okay all right do it for the other side as well this to here and this to here Right, so you have uh, him uh, packed in properly. Now we do have. Now we have uh, Optimus Prime transformed into his Cybertronian truck mode. All right, so from the sides, you had your traditional Optimus Prime colors. The smokestacks are right there, unpainted, just grey. Alright, so the wheels are quite nicely done. Okay. Now from the sides, and here's the back where this should have been done better. Okay, this is the view from the sides as well. The front, right, which is quite nicely done. It, uh, it's basically has been improved, right? So this is the top part. This is on the carriage view or the bottom of the view. Okay. And for this part here, you do see the two uh, packs, which this you can put in the weapon just like that. Okay, and it fits in very well. His ion cannon at the back. which is pretty awesome which is lacking in the uh, original release of the of this figure Thanks. let's uh, there's also another weapon storage where you can put the axe according to the manual and pack it in right here and this is the weapon storage for uh, well for Cybertron Optimus Prime 2023 okay let's zoom in I would say this is a pretty horrendous uh, use for this uh, concept. Uh, it's, that's how the uh, manual interpret, uh, interprets it. Okay. Let me zoom out so you can see how ugly this configuration is. Okay. So I hope I was hoping that this X could be incorporated to the space right here. 
I guess it's because of the axe which is uh, basically too large so that's why they couldn't incorporate them in however I hope that uh, it could be done in the future alright let's take the weapons out and we're gonna roll the weapon pretty well okay. right here alright so if you do like this review click on the subscribe button below and I'll bring you more reviews in the future in regards to new releases alright so yep this is cool boss 1008 signing out